we got uh, James. Hi, James. What's Come good? Here, what's up? I'm chilling. Tasha, you said you you be in Mass. You from Mass? Massachusetts. Yep. What part? Worcester. Worcester. Okay. So close to Framingham, right? Yeah. Yeah. When did you move to 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 ATL? Uh, ninety six. Wow. Cause I got daughters that grew up in ATL. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear that. I have daughters that grew up in ATL. Okay, daughters. How many daughters you have? Two. Yeah, um, I'm forty. Just so you know, so I'm grown. Um, okay. The biggest thing is I wanted to ask you because you have a lot of criteria that you didn't discuss at first. Really. Let all the fellows know, not just me, what the real criteria are, not, you know, your basic ones. I'm talking about you don't drink, okay? You smoke? I don't. Okay. Music? My passion. I'm a DJ, too. Okay. What type? What's your genre? R&B, hip-hop, um, pop. The only thing I probably don't do is heavy metal and folk, probably. Okay, I got you. I got you. So now, when it comes to men, like you talk about strong, like per confident men. So you like alphas. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm alpha, by the way. Um, most <laughs> most female. I don't mean to be that way, but I'm I'm a real confident dude. Melly knows she she's seen me before. But my question to you is, when you say alpha, like most women say, I want that alpha. But you can't be an alpha and me be an alpha. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm not. I'm an alpha. I'm an alpha female in the fact that I'm single. I'm not married. So before a man comes in here and is going to leave me, a he's going to have to show me, and b is I rely on no man to do anything I need to do. So I'm an independent woman that's able to handle her business. Wait, Tasha, you're breaking up. Wait, it's still breaking up. I don't know. It says it's good. I see James breaking up now. Now it's good. I'm, not, I'm good. My signal. No, I'm on my screen. Oh, okay, okay. So the reason why I ask you that is because today's climate, they always scream this conditional, you know, submissiveness. You know what I'm saying? And it is. Because women want to be alphas today, you know, they want to run the show, you know, but like me, I'm a man. So I like a female who can cook, who could be like, I don't think there's, there's nothing weak about a woman that can be submissive or passive. You know, I think it's really attractive for a, we, a female to play her, what I can consider traditional roles. Are you capable or do you feel like you have to like drive the, the car? When you said capable or traditional, like this is an interesting conversation before I move on, because I could already tell we're not going to be compatible. But oh, I'm too strong. <laughs> I, I say, yeah, not even just that. That's, it's the that point. That's the point. No, it's not. It's yeah. not the point. It's what I, I mean, you asked me a question. Can I answer? Yeah. I was going to answer. It's, it's not about being an alpha female and an alpha male. Is that what I find is that when people have this preconceived notion about a man, I do believe the man is the head of the household. One, I believe that. Number two is that when I start dating someone, I'm not going to automatically be submissive. I'm not automatically going to just let you lead the way because you are a male. And I think that's when we talk about roles is that as a single black female that has had, that isn't married, um, probably some by choice, the other, you know, just timing in certain situations is that I leave my household. This is my household. I'm not going to ask you to pay the bills in this household. I'm not going to ask you to carry me. And so with that aspect is, I'm going to lead my life until I feel like it's deemed or necessary for me to go ahead and start relinquish. I believe that when people get married, it's more of the formality. So you lead up to that. You don't, but men, when I feel like we having this dichotomy, I can already tell you, I'm the man and where's the cooking and cleaning? There are no traditional. The traditional is the only thing I think of is the man leads the household, but my man better be in there and be able to cook. 
I'm not going to be that. But wait, no, I'm not going to be that female that's going to go out. I got two businesses that I lead in addition to other things like DJing and acting I do that I make money off of, but more what I say right now to them, my moneymaker, they're hobbies. And so I'm not going to be a breadwinner bringing in six figures or whatever the case is. And you bring in and matching that energy. And then I'm just going to be submissive and hand over my check and just be like, whatever it is, what it is. And we're not even married. And so what not, I do, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Three things. The reason why I put up quotations is because when we say traditional, it's, it, it's subjective, truly. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's trying to get you to throw away all your hopes, aspirations, and dreams. I need you to have those things, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, just because I said alpha and beta and two alphas, that doesn't necessarily mean that I need you to be a weak, passive woman, always barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? That's not what I'm saying. When I put up quotations, I'm basically saying how there's a lot of stereotypes in the world we live in. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So when and, you said traditional, so I'm like, so what is your definition? So before, I, in my mind, when you said traditional, so tra what is traditional to you? So traditional is history. History dictates what traditions are. Traditions is basically the man is the head of the household. But today we don't live in that type of, that's 50 years ago, you know? Women didn't work 50 and 60 years ago. They took care of that. That thing right there, just exactly what I was trying to get at. So when people say traditional, they have a dichotomy in their head. First, they want to use the passive where females cooked and cleaned and did, you know, barefoot and pregnant. Like you said, you may not want that. But in the same aspect, the men are not thinking. That's what they want. They want a traditional female that's going to basically be submissive. Do the cooking and the cleaning. Be quiet because the man's the head of household. But if we're equally yoked as far as being what we bring to the table and I'm comfortable with my husband leading the household, I'm not just going to be a yes -um. And and I, and I want I'm you to like, be barefoot and pregnant. Like I was saying, when I put up quotation, <laughs> I'm saying society. Society has put these rules and, and things in place. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> for me, yes, a female needs to be my equal. You know, I think it creates a stimulating type of environment where you can grow. I don't want a woman to be quiet. I want you to, what do you think? You know, I'm about to go buy new land, new property over here or create But you can this. ask, do you think that I could be submissive? Do you think that you would I feel like being an alpha female? So, I mean, it already seems like you've got the preconceived notion, even though that's not what you're saying. It just seems like for me, it would definitely be a pineapple because I could see the energy wouldn't be that. So it's that's, insane, but that's I don't an assumption, it. and I'm going to say this before you pineapple me, though. Please yeah, okay. forgive me, though, okay, because I think <laughs> yeah. you're prejudging me based off. It's like foundations. If you're in a relationship, you need to come to the table and be able to say, I, I need to be able to speak respectfully. You know, if you can't mm -hmm. speak to me respectfully, that's the ground floor. You know what I mean? If you have to be disrespectful, I don't want to know you. You get yeah. where I'm coming from? So mm -hmm. when I speak traditionally... I'm saying, okay, this is what society puts in front of us as tradition. I'm not saying I embody these traditional values. I'm just trying to establish a basis and foundation so we can build a from, so we can, because I don't know you. I don't know what, like I said, I'm trying to get those details that I believe can make us make a decision. But I get where you're coming from. you got a long night ahead of you. I hope you get really? what you're I won't tell okay? about that because I can't. I won't last. <laughs> Jay, this yeah. is not going. I'm not going to make it out here. Jay, no. I appreciate you. I respect you. I love you. Thank you so much. You take care. Okay. All right. All right. Now. He's not going to be that guy. He's going. He's going to be that guy. I've been with that guy. I've been with a guy like that that says, like, you know, I'm like, you trying to fill me out as if I'm going to sit back and let you lead. And again, I do believe the man is the head of household. 